Welcome back, everybody. We are having a blast up here near Jackson, Wyoming, the Grand Teton area. For the first time ever, the Blackstone van from a stagecoach. Huckleberry everything. You might have caught my video a couple years ago where we did the huckleberry pancakes up in Whitefish, Montana. We love to eat huckleberries. Let's make a delicious summer salad with griddled chicken and wild huckleberry vinaigrette. Let's give it a try. It's so nice having a prep sink here in the Blackstone van. My lazy ones, huckleberry apron. Found these at the grocery store down in Jackson, and these are gonna be perfect for our recipe. They're already cut up into strips. I have the 17 inch griddle blazing hot, and we have olive oil. Now I'll go ahead and just drop my chicken breast strips straight down on the griddle top. And I'll season those with Blackstone's all-purpose seasoning. Let's check out that chicken. Look at that, we're getting a gorgeous sear on there already. Also found this at the grocery store, Bigwood bread from Sun Valley, Idaho. It's brioche. So let's make some brioche croutons. I've got some spreadable butter here. Of course, I have my giant chef's knife, but hey, when you're in the field, you do what you got to do. So a uh, little bit of butter on that brioche. Oh, these are going to be good. Make your own croutons, friends. It's where it's at. And we'll use Blackstone's Parmesan Ranch for those croutons. Look at that. Meanwhile, the chicken is looking beautiful. Look at that. The olive oil mixed with that all-purpose seasoning. These are going to be delicious chicken strips. And we'll put that buttered bread, our future crouton, down on the griddle. Let's check out our crouton bread here. That's looking, for, oh, look at that, Hannah. Can you get a close-up of that? That's gonna be gorgeous. And we're gonna actually toast this up very well to make those croutons. The chicken is just about done, so we're gonna pull that off right here. And we're gonna make this really real, by the way. This is no joke. They just pulled in here. So th these are my friends, even though I never met them in person. <laughs> So this is Roger Patton, and I'm gonna make this really real because once again, I'm gonna ask you to pronounce your full name for me on camera. Georgie Patton. Georgie Patton. So I worked for a long time as a cowboy Jeep guide with Billy Joe Patton, who is this guy's cousin. First, First cousin. cousin. And Billy Joe's like, he's the best thing since sliced bread, right? He's been in everything from the movie Tombstone. He's <laughs> acted with Val Kilmer and all these cool people. This is his cousin. I am tired of driving by it. I'm tired of the rundown side of it. It's time for it to go away permanently. We invited these guys <laughs> to have an impromptu snack, late dinner with us right here. Are you ready? We're ready. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Now it's a little crispy, just the way we want it. We're going to make that into croutons. So we'll bring that over here to the cutting board. Follow me over here, Hannah. Right over here by our chicken. And we should be able to slice that up over here, like so. And look at that, make some beautiful homemade uh, croutons, and these have, of course, that Parmesan ranch seasoning on there. Can you see that real good? Sweet. Man, I'm glad you pulled in, brother. We're glad we pulled in, too. We just love the Blackstone product. All right, so we got our green leaf lettuce here. I'm still kind of shaking that out. We're still kind of, I'll have to pick that up later. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here's our uh, green leaf lettuce. Uh, some spinach here as well. I 
Uh, fresh tomato, we'll cut that up into uh, chunks, kind of like Cobb salad style. All right, of course I have to have some radishes. The kids aren't big fans of radishes, but I love them. There we go. You have to have some uh, delicious cheese, some Colby Jack on a summer salad. So picked up some Tillamook at the market today as well. All right, here's our chicken. That's the chicken with the all-purpose seasoning. Chicken strips, chicken breast strips. We'll put this on the side. So again, this is kind of like a, a modified Cobb salad. I mean, you could have egg on there, avocado. I, I bought an avocado, but I forgot to bring it out of the refrigerator to the van. And of course, some of our homemade croutons. There we go, put those on there. I found this wonderful wild huckleberry fat-free vinaigrette. And we haven't tried it yet. We'll be 100% candid, the wild huckleberry fat-free vinaigrette. Here you go, ready? Let's smell it. Smells good. Take a look at that. Wow. <laughs> I didn't coach them at all. <laughs> you can do that again? That's the best group one we've got. Because usually the people are like, they're like, take a look. Wow. Okay, I have to go in for some of that seared chicken with that all-purpose, and of course, the huckleberry vinaigrette. Let's give it a try. I love it. Sweet and savory. Let's eat. And of course, you always hear me say this. If I run into somebody on the road that knows me, and they don't look too scary, and they're a Blackstoner, we gotta give them one of our Blackstone Chef's apron with a 2020 Griddle Moore tour apron. Billy doesn't even yes, have one of yes. these. <laughs> Thank you. So a totally uh, serendipitous meeting here with Roger and George. You've actually seen these guys on Facebook. Again, he's the cousin of one of my ex-coworkers and one of my good friends, Billy. So everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, hook up your Blackstone, go out and have some fun. You could be here in Grand Teton, or you could be out in the Ozarks. Yeah. Yeah. You could be at Lake Erie in Pennsylvania. You could be anywhere, but man, have a great time. And until next time, this is Todd and Georgie and Roger. We're saying praise the Lord and, and pass, pass the, the chicken. chicken. <laughs> of course, because they're from Arkansas and she's wearing the back shirt, I had to entice her. I had to pull her leg to get her to do one of these for me. Woo! Razorbacks! <laughs> Let's you. give it a try. And of course, we gotta go find us some Huckleberry ice cream. Got the Huckleberry ice cream here, baby. 